And, Steve, we've got a moment here to go to our State Farm assist of the game, coming on some very clever point guard play. Well, he mans that position for a reason, Kevin, because he passes the ball so well, sets up his teammates beautifully, really gets this offense into a nice rhythm. Delivering the pass important, but, but putting the pass in the right place for shooters, as you well know, you. Yeah, no question. Okay, now let's reset our lineups courtesy of Gatorade. All fueled up and ready to go for this fourth quarter. And so in the game for the Magic, we've got Evan Fournier, Ben Gordon out there with Peyton, and there's Gordon, and it's O'Quinn in at the five spot. And guys, let's get your take on the scoring breakdown for the Magic. Well, they're getting into the paint with their penetration, and it's really been key for this club. They've really been on fire from beyond the arc tonight, too. I mean, a lot of their points have come from out there. That's good from Peyton. Free throw is good for Peyton. They got to keep fighting their way to the line, guys. This half has been nothing but success for them there. And their confidence has to just continue to go up the longer their perfection continues. And Joseph kicks to Genova. Diaw, the screen. Six on the shot clock. The feed now to Joseph. Into Diaw. And it's good. The time running down in the shot clock. The two points are pretty much a lock when they're able to get the ball into that position inside. Magic leading by seven. Peyton drives in. He kicks it to O'Quinn. And that one goes in as he is fouled. It'll be three points if he converts at the line. And you love the concentration. He gets hit but stays with the play. Yeah, he showed a lot right there. Plenty of concentration finding a way to get that shot to fall. A different look now for San Antonio. Kawhi Leonard is checked in for Bellinelli. And it's Mills in for Corey Joseph. And a switcher also for Orlando. Vucevic checked in for Gordon. Kyle O'Quinn in his third season out of Norfolk State. 6'10", but with a 7'5 wingspan and the strength to hold his own at the pivot. He has shown some promise for a player taken in the second round. And Mills kicks to Genova. Here's Leonard. Offline with his three. The defense better watch out. They better be alert because this guy can make threes, as we saw in the first half. Gordon for three. The rebound by the Spurs. Diaz got six rebounds in the game. And O'Quinn, a relatively ground-bound game out of big-time athlete. Yeah, and very foul-prone defensively in part because of that lack of athleticism, but he has shown the ability to knock down the mid-range jump shot. He's a hard worker, a quality young man, good rebounder and shot blocker. I think he's got a chance to be one of those guys that plays a long time and makes a nice contribution. Oh, look out! Watch out for oh, 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 oh. That's basketball 101, guys. I mean, elementary. Use the screen to free yourself and then take it straight to the rack. Yeah, very nice set play for him. Well, that's using your head and using your body. San Antonio calls timeout. You know, he wants to tinker a little bit, and he's taking the time to do so right here. Yeah, I think you're right. He just didn't like some of the things he saw out there, a bit uncomfortable, and wanted to talk it over. The Spurs making a switch here. Duncan's checked in. Channing Fries checked in for Orlando. Tobias Harris comes in for Evan Fournier. Let's go quickly over to Doris Burke for an update. Kevin, Greg Popovich was just going over the plan with his team. He said, listen, fellas, I know you're tired, but we can't coast. We've got to go harder. The win's in sight. We've got to power through it and go get it. Guys, pretty inspirational stuff. Well, that's clearly a situation you want to make sure you don't give him too good of a look at. Well, true. The defenders shouldn't relax just because he missed that one. He's capable of getting hot in a hurry. Seems like they're on their heels every time defensively because the ball continues to go into the post. Well, if they don't pick up the aggression, things are only going to get worse. 
Leonard attacking, and he dumps it down. I tell you what, Kevin, they'd love to see him get a lot more of those opportunities. Parker Jefferson will go away quickly if he does. And I like the way he capped that drive off, guys, with the one-hand punch. There's the pick. Pass to Fry. Launches it. That's in, coming off an assist from Peyton. And the Magic lead by 15. You know, what an advantage he brings to this offense, guys. I mean, being able to drain the three ball, that really can spread a defense and extend the defense as well. It's Ginobili with the drive. Otto Ginobili in the final year of his two-year contract extension with the Spurs, Steve, and some speculate that he may retire after this season. Yeah, fantastic career for Ginobili. You know what I think, Kevin? I think uh, Ginobili, Parker, Duncan, and Popovich should all just walk away right now. Just, you know, go away together, and this has nothing to do with me coaching the Warriors. I'm, I'm, yeah, it has right, nothing right. to do with me at all. This is about them. They've earned this. Walk away now, guys. Just leave. I hear some admiration, but I also hear some sarcasm in there, too, from my partner there. Here's what San Antonio's going with right now. Splitter comes in for Bonner. And Parker subbed in for Patty Mills. Oladipo, he's checked in for Orlando. Both free throws good from Genoa. Orlando leading by 13. Around three minutes gone here in the fourth quarter. It's Oladipo on the wing. Offline with his three. For San Antonio, they've gone two for five. On field goal attempts in the fourth quarter. So he gets the whistle, contact on the way up, and two shots coming up. Leonard has been playing really well. He's got 14 points, and he's picked up six points from behind the arc. Now his outside stroke has looked really good today. And Ginobili certainly will go down in history as one of the all-time great six men, alongside the likes of a John Havlicek, a Kevin McHale earlier in his career. I'm throwing out some old school names for you young bucks. <laughs> He's off on the first. And Manu, a two-time All-Star, won three NBA titles with the Spurs. An outstanding career for a player drafted 57th back in 1999. And the Spurs making a change here. Green's checked in. That one is no good. Not a typical trip to the line for him there. He had been knocking them down today. Well, Kawhi Leonard drafted 15th overall. Clark back in 2011. The pick acquired from the Indiana Pacers in a trade for George Hill. And you know, at the time, Manu Ginobili said that he really didn't agree with the trade. Made him angry. He had a real strong relationship with George Hill and liked his game. I'm sure a lot of Spurs fans felt the same, same way, but even as Hill remains a heck of a player, the Spurs fans have to be happy. As a matter of fact, they are ecstatic with uh, what Kawhi Leonard has been able to do and what he looks like he's going to do for many years to come. Here's Oladipo. And so he draws the foul on the shot, a trip to the line to shoot two. Been a great fit with the Spurs culture. Quiet, low maintenance, hardworking, not one for all the glitz and the glamour. You know, he owns one watch, they say. Just focused on basketball, not the lifestyle that it affords. That one is off. When you talk about Leonard's work ethic, instilled in him from his late father, lost tragically when Kawhi was only 16 years old. But his father used to put him to work at his car wash, made him run heels, and really embedded in him the value of hard work. And his dad's influence and legacy lives on in Kawhi. And he's good on the second. Victor Oladipo played for the same college coach as Dwayne Wade. And, you know, their games actually draw some comparisons. Both are 6'4", strong, huge wingspans, and explosive athletes with that ball handling ability. I think Oladipo has a great future. Shot is off. Good D by Parker. If he can improve on what's been a shaky day for him thus far, they could stretch this lead out. Leonard dishes to Green. Back to Leonard. He feeds it to Splitter. 
And a foul called on the shot. Got him on the way up that time, so he'll shoot two right here. And Oladipo, an all-around player, he can rebound, pass, and he can defend, even block shots. Yeah, and again, you see the parallels with Dwayne Wade, although not as tall, shooting and not quite as long as Wade. His charisma and passion, though, remind you a bit of Dwayne Wade in terms of his game. And I like his name, too. Oladipo. That's a nice too. basketball name. You can do a lot with that when he gets going. A little rhythm, yeah. Yes, sir. Here comes Oladipo. There, there you go. Oladipo. There you go. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> And Splitter drops them both. In a big game for Splitter. Eight rebounds, and he hasn't forgotten to get his teammates involved either. Well, that's important, Clark. I mean, he's conscious of the fact that moving the ball around gets the defense to move. It forces them to work, and it creates a better offensive flow for his own team. Beautiful finger roll to cap head drive off. He knows how to finish with some flair and flavor, guys. And the wide open shot from Green. And it's good in the assist by Parker. Parker's got assist number five here tonight. Magic leading by 11. Peyton kicks to Oladipo. Again, Oladipo missing. And his mechanics are just all out of whack now. He just has no feel for his shot. Well, his numbers certainly back that fact up. I mean, he is going ice cold here. Boy, the floor really opened up for him there. He sure did. A good job getting it started before the defense can get itself set. Parker against Peyton. And it's blocked. And a fast break now for the Spurs. Leonard's got the ball. Rejected by Harris. Poor shooting from him this quarter. His shooting percentage nowhere near where he'd like it to be. Outside Leonard. Oh, tried to dunk it all, but drew the foul. And it'll go to the line. Well, he allowed him to get all the way to the rim, so actually a pretty good play to foul him and make him shoot free throws. And then no choice, really, but to foul and stop the dunk. Don't let that happen. Well, you know, starting last season, the NBA added a 3D camera system in every arena to track movements on the court, and some of the shots that those cameras get are remarkable. They can measure just about anything you can think of, and it's opening up a lot of different ways of measuring and dissecting the game. Another example of the overreaching arch of analytics. And going back to the new camera system, it seems it won't be long before every team has one. Really a revolution as far as evaluating the game. Well, we are in an information age, there's no question. Stats, numbers, camera angles. Teams are really trying everything to, to get an edge over their competition. And it makes perfect sense. Uh, the big question is, how do you use that information? I think that's what teams are trying to figure out. So it's Orlando now. The biggest lead of the game, 15 points. Boss covered by Parker. This now to Oladipo. Pass to Boss. Jacks up a three. It's rebounded by Leonard. Leonard's got rebound number five here tonight. Parker kicks to Duncan. That drops, and it comes off an assist from Parker. Excellent ball movement there, guys. Yeah, I think that's what's key this run, Clark, because they're keeping the ball moving. Defense hasn't been able to set up. Boss covered by Parker. The Magic again can't hit, and it's the Spurs ball. They're on a 15-6 run. Outside, green. And there's the three-second call, this one on the defense. Good from Parker. Oh, you just knew he wasn't going to miss there. Not with so much riding on him. San Antonio calls timeout. They're down by four. 127 left in the fourth quarter of this one. 